The art of progress is the motto of the campaign for the new Audi A8. Vorsprung durch Technik is the core philosophy of Audi. Vorsprung, being ahead, that's a promise. We want to have a look at how the new Audi flagship, the A8, lives up to this promise. The art of progress, in my opinion, is based on the fact that this vehicle is an absolute artistic synthesis in which everything, really everything, has been improved. We do have the vision of Audi design goes MoMA. In other words, we want one of our products to be on display in the Museum of Modern Art. Audi's flagship automobile is a balanced combination of elegance, clear lines and sportiness. Its coupe-like roof arch definitely makes this luxury car the sportiest in its class. We try to implement more moderate elegance in this vehicle, and we also attempted to infuse, so to say, the feeling of a sporty progressive upscale design into the exterior sculpture, and also to impart a feeling of lightness in the interior, because the car is physically light, aluminium, aluminium space frame, to try and emphasize this lightness again, which means that when you are sitting in the car as driver or passenger, you sense a kind of amphitheater effect. You really become a part of it. I have a strong conviction we can only make a positive step forward in design aesthetically once we've made advances in the engineering, in technology. Meaning, a technical innovation will prescribe the ensuing design innovation. The Multimedia Interface, or MMI, represents a complete evolutionary advance in the Audi A8. The new touchpad, for example, is able to read the driver's handwriting. The thing that stands out, obviously, with this generation of MMI is the exceptionally ergonomic positioning directly in the middle of the gear shift. There's a very nice hand rest here, and you can operate the system very nicely and without any jarring or vibration while driving. As you can see, you really don't have to use your best handwriting. The system will recognize the lettering, so you don't have to adjust. In addition, the system is also capable of reading non-Latin script, such as Kyrillic, for example, while the version available on the Asian market can read Chinese, Japanese and Korean. And if writing's not your thing, there's an alternative way to get where you want to, speech recognition. Ziel eingeben. Enter destination. City and street, please. München, Leopoldstraße. Munich, Leopoldstraße 152. Downloading list. Here you get a result from the combination of Leopold Street and Munich, so you don't have to separately enter the multiple choices that normally occur with the city Munich. You get a direct hit with this system, and as you can see, it functioned flawlessly straight off. Listen to music from your own collection, watch television, use your mobile phone, or access online services hands-free. The functions offered with MMI are just as comfortable to use as they are diverse. Sixteen years ago, Audi revolutionized vehicle body construction by implementing aluminium. The Audi space frame is a technical work of art that is simultaneously light and stable, and it was even improved on for the Audi A8. We have reduced the lightweight factor of this A8 generation by 20% compared with the previous model. Audi uses 13 different aluminium qualities here. Newly developed high-strength alloys are being used, that save up to 20% more weight, while offering an increase in stability of 25%. Compared with the lightweight steel body, the ASF weighs in at about 40% less, all the while presenting an extremely high rigidity. Light and yet still stable, these are the trumps that allow the Audi A8, despite its size, to offer dynamic handling and simultaneously high crash safety, improved through the facility of crash energy absorption into the construction. The world's largest structural element cast from a self-hardening alloy has been implemented in the rear end of the D4. 
It was simulated with the computer-aided technology and the flow of the lines was adjusted accordingly to the flux. And manufacturing the largest possible castings means saving energy during production and assembly. The new Audi A8 is lightweight champion in its segment. The A8 4.2 FSI, including the series standard Quattro powertrain, weighs in at a mere 1,835 kilograms, coming in well below its competitors. Performance, strength and efficiency have always distinguished Audi's TDI and FSI engines. In the newest generation of the Audi A8, drive is provided by powerful aggregates from which the engineers at Audi were able to squeeze even more capacity with less consumption. In order to reduce camshaft friction, the Audi's engineers approached the matter in perhaps surprising space in the realm of millimeters. If, for example, we make these wheels only slightly triangular, then it will lead to the fact that the shift moment of the camshaft will deliver less force to the chains. So I don't have to pre-tension the chains as much. And that has the effect that 30% less force is used in the chain drive, meaning 30% less friction. But precision to the millimeter has also made the difference in the new Audi A8's oil pump. This is a vein pump. This pump is driven, and then there's a spring piston here. And then these cells here will change, so you can adjust the pressure better. There are three different piston rings in the type of engine. And these piston rings are given pretension with springs. And by optimizing this minutely, we were able to take back the spring tension, which in turn reduces the energy necessary to move these pistons up and down. In the end, all of these measures led to the engine having 6 kilowatts more power without needing to add one single drop more of fuel. Also, the diesel-fueled TDI aggregate in the Audi A8 was further optimized. For the new Audi A8, we worked over the V8 TDI and the V6 TDI fundamentally in order to increase efficiency. A very efficient high-pressure injection system, the common rail system, with 2,000 bar is implemented here. You can see the rails injectors here. The pump is in the interior. A second improvement was the fundamental reworking of the turbocharger, optimizing the responding qualities, particularly at low revs. And in order to reduce the emissions substantially, an exhaust recirculation was developed that reduces especially NOx emissions, with simultaneously positive effects on mileage. All the TDI engines have a really brawny torque, even at extremely low speeds. This allows for very dynamic handling because you constantly have a superior torque at your disposal. The new Audi A8 is not only elegant and luxurious, it is also considered to be the sportiest car in its segment. Lightweight construction and Audi space frame provide the Audi A8 with a low weight as well as high stability, which guarantee noticeably dynamic handling. In addition, a duet of very powerful engines. An FSI and a TDI engine deliver superior strong performance. The 4.2 FSI pulls 273 kilowatts or 372 horsepower from its eight cylinders and sprints in 5.7 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour. Despite increased performance of 16 kilowatts over the previous model, Audi was able to decrease consumption by 13% to 9.5 liters per 100 kilometers. The 4.2 TDI offers tremendous torque. A full 800 newton meters of torque at 258 kilowatts or 350 horsepower allow for a jump from 0 to 100 in just 5.5 seconds. Even so, consumption with 18 kilowatts more power has been decreased by 22% compared to its predecessor, only 7.6 liters per 100 kilometers. 
But there is still a lot of potential in the TDI. A V6 TDI being introduced just after market introduction, with 3 litres cubic capacity and 184 kilowatts or 250 horsepower, will only need 6.6 .6 litres. And at the beginning of next year, yet another version of the 3.0 TDI drive will be available with the Audi A8. The front-wheel drive starter model of the A8 will deliver 150 kilowatts or 204 horsepower. Mileage? Sensational 6 litres of diesel per 100 kilometres. By all known standards, this mileage is an absolute benchmark in the luxury car segment, even in comparison with the petrol hybrid engines that we know of currently. The art of progress. No further comment is necessary.